I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Kate. And this is our self-built camper van. So this van is a 2015 Ford Transit T350 long wheelbase extended high roof <laughs> with a diesel engine. And um, we bought it used earlier this year. And um, we spent about five months, four and a half to five months building out the van and then we started living in it full time. <laughs> Did you know, if you list your van with Outdoorsy, you can earn up to $50,000 a year. Check the link in the description to find out how. Let me show you inside. So first, when we walk in, we're entering our kitchen. Um, our light switches are right here, so if it's kind of dark, we can turn these on and off. And we have two sets of lights in the front. We have our mood lighting right here, and we have our um, overhead lights that are stronger. We don't need those right now. So the first thing you see when you enter our van is our microwave and our fridge. We have a CFX3 Dometic Dual Zone fridge, um, which means that it has two compartments a freezer and the fridge right here it's on slides so we can pull it out and push it back in this is our fridge compartment with all our veggies and back here is our freezer and we love it it works really well just push it back in here do that above it we have our microwave and two drawers. Our microwave is a 700 watt microwave. It works really well with our inverter. Um, to turn it on, we have to press this button right here. Long hold. Beep. <laughs> so now we can use our microwave, but lo and behold, we also use it as storage when we're not using it. Um, we use every possible little bit of space we can when you're living in a really tiny home. Um, and then we have to make sure to turn off the inverter when we're not using it so that we can preserve our battery. Above th this stuff is our workspace area. So this entire counter we use as our workspace. We have a seat here, which also doubles as our toilet. And it's really nice because I can put my legs here and sit. It's the perfect height for me to work on my computer while Ryan is walking up and down the hallway or washing dishes or cooking. So it's really nice to have a place to sit that isn't the bed. Up above we have two cabinets, two upper cabinets. They are on gas struts so they open all smooth like. Um, here are our pots and pans and on this side is all our dry food. So bread and nuts and ketchup. Um, one major improvement to our uh, van lifestyle has been this shelf. Uh, for the longest time, we didn't have this shelf. It's an Ikea shelf, but it really, really helps when it comes to organizing all our food. And we've had one here that's been a lifesaver as well. So these close really nice and easy. And now we can move over to this side, um, our upper cabinets. Kind of the same as the other side. We have our all like bowls and um, a glass back there, our salad stuff that we use, salt, mooch. And then over on this side, we have all our toiletries, our medicine box, um, tooth toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. And this is our kitchen counter now. So here, something that I really love about our van is our magnetic spice rack is right here. Um, it's really simple. I just taped these magnets at the bottom of these caps. I can just show you like that. And they just, you know, it's magnetic so it stays. And then it just stays on the steel sheet right here. And we have gone on so many bumpy roads and really fast on freeways with like big like waves like this and it, only one jar has fallen which 
I think is crazy. Like I am shocked that this thing works. So if you need the spice rack, highly, highly suggest you do one of these guys. Moving on to our sink. Here we have a tile backsplash. So this I, I actually tiled with cement and glue and it's on a really strong board. One of these pieces of wood is back here. So if you're gonna punch a wall, do not punch this wall, you will break your fist. Another cool nifty thing about our van and our kitchen are these little colored tiles. I wasn't sure, like I could not make a decision what color I wanted to put into the van. So I got these little square tiles and I painted them all different colors. And I stuck some Velcro on the back here so I can change these out with different colors whenever I want and I love it. It's a really nice little touch that I can do once I feel like I need to change up the colors in here. This is our faucet, which I'm pretty sure a lot of other van lifers have the exact same one. It works really great. We can move it around out the window, clean the sink. It works really awesome. We also invested in a little soap dispenser. Um, it's just really nice to have something that is stationary and we don't have to worry about, you know, securing it down when we're driving. So we really love this thing. So now you're probably wondering where do we cook? And we cook a lot, um, but there's a very nifty thing that we have, our stove, and it is hidden right here. So I need to unlock it and pull it out. And we have a two burner camp stove all of this space and it's nice because it gets to be hidden when we don't need to use it. Um, it's powered by a propane tank which is just under here and it works really great. Here we have all our drawers in our cabinetry. Um, this is my coffee drawer which I need to have. I have my mocha pot, we have little towels that we use for drying up dishes and cleaning up spills. Here we have our odd cabinet. Um, our propane tank is back here in a special cabinet so that it doesn't leak. Um, but here we have our cleaning stuff that we use, our distilled white vinegar that we use to flush with. Um, that works really well. Here we have our uh, forks and knives and all our like little miscellaneous stuff like our tied on the go pen and our bottle openers and our knives. We open this drawer every day so it's nice it's in a good spot. Here these two we have issues with because when we're driving they like to fly out. So Ryan created a very special pin in this drawer, these pins can be pulled out so that we can open these drawers. This drawer also has a pin and is our another dry food drawer. And here is our trash can. Looks like we cleaned up some coffee in there. Um, but here you'll see our toilet paper. It stays right here. Um, we have, this is our little flush spritzer spray. We have our disinfectant spray here, paper towels, and finally our five gallon gray water tank. Another quick thing I'd like to mention, all of our fresh water is filtered twice. So once when it goes into our 25 gallon water tank, which is back there, and again, when it goes through this filter right here. So Kate mentioned how this is also our toilet. So I'll just show you that real quick. I'm not gonna go into detail, but basically this lifts up and then we have our custom composting toilet. So there's a urine diverter, pee goes there into a one gallon plastic jug, and then number two is going there into a bucket with a medium that we can then turn using this knob and that kind of mixes it up and that starts the composting process. It doesn't smell that bad. We honestly have most issues with the pee smelling bad, which is pretty typical for any van lifer. Moving on to our bed. This is a queen Ikea mattress. So I'm 6'3 and I kind of need a lot of space to sleep. 
and I wasn't really looking forward to sleeping horizontal or <laughs> sleeping side to side like a lot of people do in vans. I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'd be in the fetal position all night. So I wanted to have a big mattress and the only real way we were able to fit a queen mattress in was this way. And um, the, obviously that takes up a ton of space. So we were trying to figure out how to have like a dinette like a lot of people do with their bed designs. And this is what we came up with. So this converts from a queen size bed to a little dinette. We can sit here, um, talk with friends, but also we can dine because we have a pull-out table right here. And this one's nice because there's no drawer slides on the side. They can go to grease on drawer slides and if you were to lean over or something you can grease on your shirt, but not in this case. It's just a piece of three quarter inch plywood. And it's a little diving boardy at the end if you pull it out too far. And we have been meaning to put a support here, but we don't yet. And then when we're done, put it back. We got a little latch right here that keeps it fixed. So it's not gonna slide out if we break or accelerate too hard. The other great thing about these benches is that they double as storage. So this is my side. And this is actually a ton of storage. I keep like my jackets, my hiking backpack, some of my books, um, my overflow spices that I have, some blankets, you know, anything you need to store there, you can. And it's it's a little hard to access when the bed's down, but it's really not a big deal to just flip the bed up. And then also, in the backrests, we even have more storage. So here's where we have toilet paper, um, baby wipes, we do a lot of baby wipe showers in van life. Um, on this side, this is Kate's storage. I don't really go over here much, but I think she has like hair stuff, toiletries, that kind of stuff here, and then more of her clothes down here. So whenever we want to go back to bed mode, we just flip these latches, make sure they're vertical, and then just hold this down. So up on our bed, we've got two windows here. They both can be opened and they both have screens. So um, we do have a max air fan right above where our stove is to be in the optimal spot to, you know, pull cooking fumes out. And the way we get good ventilation is we just open one of these windows and then we can have a really good airflow taking anything out and especially if it gets kind of musty in here or you know we just want some fresh air this is a great way to get fresh air and another thing when we're sleeping we can uh, open these if we're somewhere with a really good view and just get to admire the view from bed you may have noticed that we have these fairy lights on both sides here um, these are basically our night lights so when we when we're in bed and we get all comfy we don't have to get out of bed to go turn the lights off and be ready to go to bed so these are super convenient and another little secret thing is our window sills half of them are removable so this is where i keep my headphones hairbrush kindle some cards and headlamps but there's also a you can't see it from that angle but there's a USB socket, so we can plug in our chargers and anything that runs on USB. So it's really convenient for charging our phones at night. And then this just pops right back in. Up here, we have even more overhead storage in these. So um, we didn't, we weren't really able to insulate these rear doors. So um, we assumed that if we're not insulating them, it'd be it feel kind of weird, you know, sleeping in this super cozy space here and then having this van door right behind our heads. So we um, made these insulating covers that basically go where the windows would be if there were windows back here. 
and they keep it pretty cozy you know we don't um we don't really have any issues with it being too cold outside and having like a bunch of cold air convecting down onto our face so this is kind of our miniature control panel which is which looks very inferior to what a lot of van builders have but it's really all we need for our application it's um guarded by our pet shark bruce and right here we have our battery monitor which tells us the voltage on our battery and how much current is going into or coming out of our battery so this helps us determine whether or not we're putting a huge load on our battery or if everything's fine right now we have five amps coming out because our fridge is running and then right below that we have our inverter switch which turns on every ac outlet we have we just have two ac outlets here two ac outlets under our stove and a couple behind the microwave that's what it's plugged into right now and then we also have two in the very back which we'll show you in just a minute and then right below that we have a usb socket so we can plug in um phone chargers our uh our MiFi module is get charges here. Um, and this one, this specific USB socket, you can actually charge a MacBook Pro on it. It's very, very slow, but it does charge it. So right behind this door, we have a 20 pound propane tank, which is just directly hooked up to our stove. It's not hooked up to anything else. So open it, we just undo this gate latch, and then this comes down and then regular old 20 pound propane tank right there and there is a pvc pipe in the bottom you can't see very well but it vents directly out of the van so in the case that there was a leak the gas would just go out of the van and not harm us we do have a carbon monoxide detector which everyone should have in a van that already saved our lives once and um just in case anything else goes wrong with this but let's go check out the garage or basement as i like to call it you can't fit a car in here so why should it be a garage so here you can see the, the back of our mattress but also all of our crap it does not look that attractive but it's a awesome place to store things so on the right side here you can barely see our 25 gallon freshwater tank and um, we just have it hooked up to our pump directly. And then that goes, there's a T back there that goes straight to our sink. And then the other side comes right here. And this is a quick connect. So using this, we can connect a, a sprayer, which is right here. And then like a, a or like a spiral hose, which is right here. And then a sprayer. But we can also hook that up to our hot water shower which runs on propane. And then right here is where we fill up our tank. It's kind of annoying to take open sometimes, but um, we have a fill hose that we just stick right in there. And then that fills up our tank. So to the more complicated side of things, over here, we have our electrical system. These are all our shoes and stuff, um, hiking boots, snow boots. Um, Flip-flops, Tevas, this is one of my toolboxes, hand tools, mostly. These <laughs> should not be here, but these are our sheep's wool window covers that we use at night. So if we want some privacy or if it's cold out, we throw those on our sliding windows next to our bed. This is just more tool storage and the frisbee on top. This is a folding table. So if we're somewhere where we want to set up a table and play cards or eat or something, we can do that. But this is our entire electrical panel. I like to do it this way because you can see everything. It's obvious where everything is. It's not hidden in a bench somewhere. It's easy to troubleshoot because you can see every wire. So we have two methods to charging our 200 amp hour battery. We have our 20 amp DC-DC charger. 
which basically just takes excess power from our alternator and uses that to charge our battery. Then we have our 40 amp charge controller, which takes our 400 watts of solar panels and uses that to charge our battery. We do not have shore power on this van. We've had plenty of power using both of these. Um, here's our 2200 watt inverter. We've never had a problem with this. It powers our 700 watt microwave just fine. It's more than double what we would need for that microwave, but we never know when we're gonna need a power, something a little more than 700 watts. And then you can see our 12 volt fuse block back there, and basically everything is connected to that. We have a motor under our toilet, our fridge is connected to that, our fan, all of our lights, all of our USB sockets, um, everything's connected to that. So in a nutshell, that's our electrical panel, along with some fuses and breakers to make sure our wiring doesn't all overheat. This ladder takes me up to my favorite part of the van. Welcome to the roof deck. It looks kind of small, but a four by five foot space is actually plenty for two people. Also, look at that view. That's nice. That's it, you guys. We hope you enjoyed our van tour. Thank you so much to Nate for having us on his channel. It's an honor and a blessing. When we were building the van, we saw so many of Nate's videos and- Yep. Um, it helped us a lot. Yeah. So. Absolutely. If you like what you see and you want to learn more about our van and what we do, uh, follow us at Life's All Right on Instagram and YouTube. We haven't posted anything there yet, but we will soon. We have a blog coming with a lot of information about how we built it, what it's like living in a van, um, what we do differently, you know. Yeah, all that jazz. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.